Music? Check, 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 check. Oh, they you didn't get it. We don't get the things. Done. They said it wouldn't oh, last. Oh. White man, black man. America F1. America F1 coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. Welcome to another episode of America F1. And this week we are talking about Silly Season, which is on steroids right now. The latest news is Esteban Ocon will be leaving Formula One. Well, Alpine. <laughs> well, he might be leaving Formula One, but he'll be leaving the Alpine team at the end of the year. After five years of service, what do you think about that, Mike? Bye bye. Bye bye, Esteban. It's kind of weird because now he's going to be like how they're doing Hamilton. He'll be out of like certain meetings. He'll be out of certain technical. And if issues. he hits anybody again, he'll be out of the ride before the end of the year. I'm surprised they even kept him. I, I, they should have just chucked somebody else in the car. Would you have done that? Yeah. Really? Absolutely. Why is that, Mike? Because that mistake he made at, at Monaco, which that's how the Monaco, British... Monaco, Monaco. That's how the British Monaco, Monaco. And we hate the British on here, okay. so... All right, all right. Um, yeah, I would have taken him out of the car. It's not his first boo-boo this year, right? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> it's Esteban, man. He has boo-boos all over the but place. But remember, think about it. If he was on the Red Bull team... Okay. Would he be... He would, he would be gone. Yeah, he'd be gone. Yeah. Yeah, if he... No, that that is a good point, Mike. If Esteban Ocon was in a top three team, if he was in Ferrari, he was in Mercedes, if he was in Red Bull, he would be the cause of them not winning a Constructors' Championship because he's the one who runs into people. Well, and he, and they, 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 remember, every time they score a point, it's estimated that they get like millions of dollars for right. each point. For each point. Because we don't know because they won't tell us. <clears throat> but it's rumored that they get millions of dollars. So if the driver... Makes a boo boo on lap one, which is you're never allowed to make a boo boo on lap one. You can make a boo boo with your teammate later in the race when your tires were off and you make a boo boo then. But at the beginning of the race, when there's all the fuel on the car, you got to be careful. And he just, what the f did he do? And they talked about it. And when you look at his mistake, or I, I won't just say Monaco. The constant mistakes that he makes with every teammate. You know, this year it was Ghastly. Last year it was... Whoever his teammate was oh, last he's year. he's had... Let's see. Who who has been his teammates? He started out with Perez. Okay. Okay. And then he went to Ricardo. And then... What was he Ricardo's teammate? Yeah, team? he was Ric- Ricardo's teammate in Renault. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was on that team. Yeah. Seems so, like a long time ago. Yeah, well... And when the th- cars were yellow and black and way better than yes, blue. Yeah, way better, way better, way better. When Daniel Ricardo actually was really, I thought, really racy and good. Um, and then he had, believe it or not, he was with Fernando Alonso. Which I forgot about. And then he was out of the car, right? No, he was out of the car after... After Ricardo. <clears throat> after, no, was it Ricardo? Yeah, yeah. Or Perez. Oh, Perez. I think it was Perez. I think he was on the racing point and he was out of the car. Uh, and then he came back. And then he came back. For the to the Alpine team, so right, and he's so, been on the Alpine team with three or four years now. Five years. What? This is his fifth year with the team. Well, whatever. If they haven't been. I'm sorry, but like, he's made so he's he him and Lance Stroll are I think the two worst drivers right now. And what people forget is he's the one when he was a back marker lapped by oh, he, uh, Max stupid. Verstappen. And he crashed into Max and took Max out. Well, he tried to pass him when he was like leading the race, and he was a lap down. Ah, he was a lap down, and he, and he took Max out. And Max, that's the one Max, Max pushed him, remember? Max, that was like, it was like a girl fight. Yeah, girl you know, fight, but, but he pushed him twice. I mean, it, was it wasn't like, like a NASCAR fight where they're like, oh. No, it wasn't like the Kyle Busch no. and uh, Stenhouse fight. No, those were like, like that. Those punches landed in yeah. that fight. That was, I, was, I was shocked. He stepped out. Into the punch. It wasn't like, oh my God, why did you do that? <laughs> you know, he got fined 75 grand for that punch, by the way. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, well, he can afford it. No, he can't. He's not on one of the better teams. That's like a good chunk of his salary, probably. Well, he's been racing for a while, though. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was a, that's a lot of money. Well, I can't. So he's rumored, Esteban Ocon is rumored to go to Haas. He's not going to Haas. He's rumored. 
I can't see him going one year to Mercedes. I just can't see. Why Can you imagine him Mercedes? and George Russell together? They would put Ananelli in the car before they put that dude I, in the I car. I think so. I think so. And I think Vettel's going to the Mercedes, but that's just me. I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think Vettel's going to. You know, up, Vettel will come back, make a two-year thing, stop, and please then stop talking about that. And then uh, Verstappen will go to uh, Mercedes because the Red Bull team won't be won't be shit without Adrian Newey. So okay, please. but I could be wrong. They the the Red Bull team could is if. If Adrian, okay, now Adrian's leaving, but he left a lot of staff are there that do a lot of the the grunt work. And if um, Christian stays and Marco goes, because Marco, I don't really know what he does. He's like the CEO of the company, I guess that's his, because they call him an advisor. I think he's the CEO. He's the one who, who well, runs no, the- No, because uh, Horner's the CEO. No, Horner's the the, the principal. He, Horner is the CEO also. He's the CEO yes. too? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. okay, then Marco's never Marco's just a consultant. Well, he was the guy who was uh, part of a Massachusetts yes. team. So, um, but I don't know how you segued all the way from Ocon to Red Bull, <laughs> who were talking about Ocon, and we're going to put the nail in his coffin before we moved on to the rest of the silly season. You know? Okay, I, 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 I'm, I'm good at that. You really are good at that. You really. Are. Okay, well, we'll get back to it. like. Okay, so Ocon's gone. So if Ocon goes, say, let's just. Let's say, let's give two scenarios. One scenario, he goes to Haas. Who's he team up with? Ollie Berman? Oh, Berman's definitely going to Haas. Absolutely. Okay. So it's Ollie Berman and Ocon. Would you want, as a team principal, and you have a young talent like Ollie Berman, and we know the history of Esteban Ocon, he's not really that teammate good. friendly. So would you want somebody like that on your team? And I don't think they're thinking about this ahead of time. Like, Ferrari's the boss of like Haas. They're the, the you know they're the sister team kind of. They give them all the parts. Now, they're the Toro Rosso of, right. of the Ferrari team. So, so this is me talking to Ferrari, talking to Haas, talking to Gene Haas, talking. Actually, I this this is another thing. Gene Haas just <clears throat> him and Tony Stewart just put their NASCAR team up for sale. Right, because the charters are supposedly worth forty million dollars a piece now or something, which is insane. So. If I'm the principal of Haas, if I'm the principal of Ferrari, I don't want my young talent, Ali Berman, being with another, paired with Esteban Ocon, since we know he's not a good teammate. I want a good, strong teammate, a veteran teammate for Ali Berman. They'll just, I, they'll just keep Magnuson then. I no, mean, they're not. Magnuson's gone. Magnuson's not gone. They, they've already said that. They've already said. Magnuson's gone. They've said already that? said that they will not resign. Do you pay attention? Yeah. I don't okay, they've already what... said that they're not going to resign Magnuson. Are you already, sure? Yes, that's already a given. Are you sure you didn't see yeah, that? Yeah, no, no, no. On YouTube? That's, no, 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 that's a given. Right. He's, not, he's not coming back. Okay. <laughs> so, now, if I'm in charge of that, and I think, what's the guy's name in charge of Haas? The Japanese dude. Yes, what's his name? God, no, I forget. Why do you always forget his name? I forget his name, but you Why is it my name. fault that you because forgot posted, his name? You have a better memory than I do. That's, I have that's, a better memory about what's actually going on, but you have a better memory about the, history, the history and the names. Is it Yazamoto? No, or something? not Yazamoto. <laughs> do you have to look look it up now? Fine. Look it up. Look it up. And, okay, and we, I think it's Hi- 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 Hayato. Hi- no, Hi- no, no, Hi- no, no. It's not well, that. And I, and I apologize. We should know. We should have we written should this have down. It written down. Since we don't have, since we're just winging this. And today, so. no notes or nothing like that. We just want to get this show in because we think it's so important to talk about the movement and the carnage of all the dominoes that are being affected with all these moves that are happening. Uh, right now. I, I. Oh, uh, yo. Ayo. Ayo. Komatsu. Komatsu. That's right. Komatsu. Now. Is it Ayo or Ayo? Ayo. Komatsu. Well, no, because Japanese, is, it's it's pronounced phonetically. So. Ayo. Komatsu. Ayo. Komatsu. Now. All right. He's the principal of Haas. Now, if I'm him, he I don't he, want he, Esteban Ocon <laughs> with Ali Berman. He's I not don't gonna, want They're not going to put. I don't want I don't it. think Ocon's coming. Is I think his Formula 1 days are, are short. If he hits somebody else. He's, he's, gonna be, he's gonna yeah, be out of the car. Done. They'll, they'll take. The car. They'll put Schumacher in the car. Or they'll put somebody else in the car because that, that was a rumor this week that Schumacher was going to be. Schumacher could end up back at Haas too. That's another thing. I wouldn't want him either. If I got a talent, I want to put the talent young guy with a veteran. 
That's why they're probably going to keep Magnuson, even though they He's said... He's not keeping Magnuson. He keeps crashing. Why would you keep Magnuson? Eh. Look how much money he's costing that team. He's crashing almost every race. Come on, Mike. I'm just saying. Who okay. Else, who the hell right, gonna, you're, you're talking who, crazy. Who else are they going to so put we, in the car? We got, look at all the people who are on... Okay. Look at all the people who we have to choose from. We got Valtteri. Oh, Botas could okay. go there. We That'd got be- Yuki. No. We, we do we we have Yuki. We got Liam Lawson. Well, Liam Lawson's not even a rookie. He's never even driven. He drove a couple races I know, last but year. We have him in, in the mix. But I think, he's a a Red Bull guy. I think Zhao's going to be out all the Well, Zhao might be a good a ch- good choice. You think so? He might be a perfect choice actually. Why? Explain, he's, Mike. He's solid. He's he's not he's, he has no flash to him. He's not the best driver in the world, but he doesn't chuck cars that much. He does. You know, you know well, so. his car's so damn slow. Kind of, uh, it's hard know. to chuck a car from the back all the he time. He gets beat by Botas a lot, but Botas might be a good fit there. But Botas is going to Williams supposedly, so that's with, the big. What Albon? Because what yeah, about Al- Science? Al- Albon, no, Science is going, Science is either going to the Mercedes team or he's going to the Audi team. More likely the Audi team because they've been rumored about him going to Audi for a while. So yeah. he's got to go somewhere. He's not going to the Williams team. I think that whole Williams thing is. Smoke screen by his management team to get to, to get, to get, get more money yeah. to get a better deal with Audi because I can't see him going to Williams who are cash strapped and who are economically and techno technologically wise they're behind the curve because their stuff's twenty years old is they yeah. haven't and they they haven't invested they, they had no money they got lucky in the early in the 2014, 2015, and twenty sixteen season. They had really good. They had Massa there. They had Pat Simmons, who just signed with the Andretti team. And they had the Mercedes engine. They were the only ones to have the Mercedes engine. Be, mm. be, but they never won a race in that period of time. So, But, but they used to get podiums. They I were getting remember. podiums. They, they, they uh, Massa put it on the pole at the uh, Red Bull ring, I think, in 2014 or 15. And Botas got some podiums. Botas was really... That's why he got the Mercedes ride. Right. Cause, and Total Wolf is his team, is his manager, so... He could all end up at the Mercedes back at the Mercedes team too, but um, maybe he would. No, he's going to. He's probably going to the Williams team because there's no rumors about him going to Mercedes. So I would. So where, wherever Valtteri needs to be in the seat somewhere, he'll be somewhere. Yeah, I, I, for sure, one hundred percent, he's going to be somewhere. He's probably like I said. He, the rumors are all pointing now. To does Williams. Gasly stay with Alpine? Because I've also heard he wants to leave. Where the fuck's he gonna go? I don't know, but I heard he wants. He could to go, go to Haas, too. but I mean, he's he, he'll get waxed by Berman because Berman's good. You think Berman's better than Gasly? I think so. I think because what what he did in the 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 Ferrari. Now, granted, he's a for he's a Ferrari reserve driver and he's a Haas reserve driver, hmm. but he's in their simulators all the time. He does a lot of, the, and they have other guys who do the simulator work. Um, but he's done the simulator work, but he's. He's got the pedigree. I mean, he's won the car championships. He's in, isn't he? Is he in Formula Two or three? He's in Formula year? Two right now. Oh, okay. Well, for Antonelli, I think, is outpointing him so far. Yeah, but not by much because they're, they're, it's their first year. They need two years in that in that series to be any good, usually, unless you're Max for stupid. But that's he's the only one who for pulled it. But I think Berman's gonna Berman's definitely gonna be in the car next year. And remember, you don't have to win the F two championship to be a good Formula One. No, driver. you don't. Because well, Logan so. Sargent didn't win, but he's not. A no, player. Logan Sargent won. He did not win the championship. Are you sure? I'm one hundred percent positive. I thought he won. No, dude, it was like fourth or fifth. Because Mick, about? oh, that's oh, you're it's right. Not even close. Mick Schumacher won the the Formula Two championship. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Absolutely. No, I'm, he I'm didn't. Look, you're you're, ins- you're insane. Many, I know you, who won. You want to bet a dollar? Yes, I'll bet. You already owe me a dollar. So okay, it's the it's the guy who right now is the Alpine reserve driver who won. Actually, I met him. Liam Lawson? No, no, it's um, I uh, know his name too. Dugan or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I met him in. I think I met him in Azerbaijan on in, in the uh, in the airport. Him him and his mom were there, and I met both of them. They were sitting there with his trophy because he had won the F two uh, race there, and he had his trophy sitting down. Waiting for the airplane. So, After winning the F three championship, progressed to Formula Two he and didn't won win. the won the twenty Formula t- Two championship. What year Prima. is that, dude? Twenty twenty. We're talking about twenty twenty three right now. No, I said he won the F two championship. Yeah, we're talking about last year. You can only win. You can only race in in Formula Two. 
if you haven't won the championship. If you won the championship, but we're talking you about last year. We didn't talk about ever. That's what I was saying. I oh, said you won a championship. Anyways, who won last year? That's what we're talking. Uh, who about. cares? Oh. <laughs> it's just a bunch of rich kids, anyways. Yeah, have you ever seen a Formula Two race? It's like every other driver is like Gasly. <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. It's horrible racing. Well, it's a little closer. Not it's, really. It's a little bit closer. There's a lot more crashes. Um, I, I usually don't watch the F2 race Boring. when I go, but I think I, I've, I've been following it this year just because I wanted to see more about what Kimi Antonelli's like. Well, he's. I don't think he's on a good team either. He's, he's not. He's no. not one on the. So. He's on Prima, I think he is. He's on Prima, and yeah. it's not. It's not the best team on, on that grid. But they're like they. You, they put him in the cars, and he. We, did he won the F three? They both won F three championships. Him and Berman, right? Yes. Because they're they're a year apart, mm-hmm. right? So Berman will be in the in the car next year, and I think Antonelli. Well, I mean, they're more. I don't think uh, Berman's older than eighteen though, because no, he's eighteen. I thought he was nineteen. No, now. he's eighteen because he's he's eighteen, and and Antonelli's seventeen. Seventeen. So, and I don't think they should let him get in a Formula One car until they're 18 anyways. No, the reason why I say he's 19, because didn't he... What, he, he might have had a birthday. He raced... He raced last... The one race he had was last year. No, this year. This year... Berman. Which, he was, well, it was yeah, a, but which race was it? It was the, the Las Vegas race. No, this year... It was the Las Vegas race well, he raced in. Well, Las Vegas... And was, he came in seventh, right? Well, Las Vegas was last season, though. No, no, no! This year's Las Vegas is already. Hit. Are, are you on? Are you you're on some type of drug right now? No. So the Las Vegas race took place last season, and that was the first year they had it. They haven't had the second race until the end of this year. You want to know why I know? Because I was at the race. Oh wait a minute! No, what is wrong the, with you right now? It was now? the um. <laughs> you on drugs? It was the Saudi Arabia race. Yes, I knew it was. It was, uh, uh, it was a. I knew it was a road course. I knew it was a temporary street circuit. You know, sometimes I think. Uh, you know, they say that this micro dosing is really good for your brains. Yeah, but it this is. is this is obvious where it isn't. I I it's knew not. I knew it was a street circuit. I didn't know it wasn't. I thought but Vegas you already. Said it was this year. Never mind. You tried to say Las Vegas was already this year, and it's not till. But the he did. Really, he did really good in that race, so he he did. So, <laughs> but it's never. and now he's got to do really good in a in a, cl- in a clunker car next year. So what, what clunker? The Haas? You no, call the Haas. the Haas car a clunker? It's a clunker. They don't have any money. Well, they have money. He just won't spend it. Is that right? No, he spends a hundred million dollars on the team a year. But that's that's no way it's, you spend one hundred and fifty million. And he has the, the team's like two or three hundred people. It's like yeah, but the cap is one fifty. Fifty. That doesn't include the the, the driver's salaries. Either. Correct. So like the Mercedes team is not spending one hundred and fifty million dollars. They pay Lewis Hamilton like fifty million a year just to so drive. So it's the cost cap, and you know we're really digressing and getting into the weeds here. But the cost cap does not include the driver's salary, and then you can pick three people from the team to pay whatever you want. Yes, that it doesn't include their salaries either. So you would figure it'd be the team principal um, and then the lead can, driver, well, maybe Adrian. No, Newey. so you got the driver separate, and then you got three other uh, people. Then from, you can pay whatever you want. Yes. All right. So what three is it going to be? So obviously it's going to be the team principal. You know, it, it depends. It depends because, like, right now, if I was if I was uh, Vasseur and I'm like, and I had a chance to get Nui, you're going to make more money than me because I want you in here. I mean, because right, right. remember, Adrian Nui's been making ten million dollars a year since he joined the Red Bull team okay. in 2006. And I heard they they uh, never gave him a raise. He never I heard asked Ferrari him. offered him twenty five. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, but he, it's like he, I don't think he gives a shit about the money. He's already. Worth probably a hundred or two hundred million dollars. He doesn't do anything with his money really, except drive his F forty vintage car and his yacht. It's a nice yacht. Yeah, but it's like not that. It's like what? Are, how, how much is a yacht though? Is it, are you kidding right now? How much? I don't know. Was it like three or four million dollars or something? Well, it's according to how big it is. But you can have a yacht that. I oh mean, if they're yachts, we got mosquitoes in here. Yeah. What do you, why do you say it like that? Because we do. What am I going to do about it? You have like a plan or or something that catches mosquitoes, man. Whatever, anyways. What? I mean, what what the hell? I'm getting bit around here. Aww. It's, you know it's what, like I'm camping. You know what this is? You know what this is? I'm like is? camping around here. What's you know going what, on, man? Sherm, Sherm, you know what this is? It's a violin. It's the smallest violin in the world playing wah, 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 wah. 
I'm like, where, where's Trump at? Get Trump out of jail. Trump, 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 Trump ain't going to jail. We ain't talking politics. And I'll build them very inexpensive. Don't vote for Trump. Unless you want to vote for a felon, misogynistic, crazy. First of all, don't, don't, don't. Remember, we don't talk, talk politics. politics. That we don't talk politics. Okay. Anyways, um, what, okay. Who's the next person on this? I think science is the next person we need to talk about. Because we don't know where he's going. I know that science is going to go to Audi. And he's reason, probably going to the Audi. The reason why I say that is you're not going to go to Mercedes for one year and then have to do this all over again. You're not going to go to Williams because... What the fuck would he go to why Williams Why would you go for? there? Be- but it's reported... That they've offered him the same amount of money that Audi offered. That why would you do that? Then you're going to go to Audi. Audi is like they're going to dump. They're 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 building the factory. They're dumping money in it. Will you stop with the the mosquitoes? It's right by your ear. Get it. Get it. Get, get it. Get it. Let it go. It's just a mosquito. They don't hurt you. So if I'm I'm going to put myself in Carlos Sainz's shoes right now. I'm Carlos. I am Carlos Sainz. This yeah, because Carlos operator. Sainz and Hulkenberg, that'd be a good team. Because remember, they got to sign up for at least two years. Can I do my impression? Okay, do your Carlos Sainz. I am, doing I am the smooth Sainz. operator. I am the smooth operator. I am going to Audi because Audi dominates in Everything. motorsports. They are now also ran. They dominate. They're coming with money. But yeah. But money. I- Lots of money. I say that, and every time, every time someone says money makes a race car go fast, and that's true. David Pearson coined that phrase. Mm. But all you have to do is say uh, Toyota F1, and they won everything too, just like Audi does. And they did not. They if Audi hires someone to run that team, they need to stick with that person like glue, no matter what. That is what's wrong with that Alpine team. Tell me how many principals they've had. I Mike. can't tell you. They have a new one every year. Every year. Not only do they have a new principal every year, they have new aerodynamicists every year, they have new engineers oh, that's right. every they're, year. Their they whole have... team quit before the beginning of the yeah. season. Yeah. They, they must have known something. Alonzo <laughs> packed his bags so fast to get out of that team. He packed his bags days before. Like, okay. he was gone. No, the second he heard Vettel quit. He, he was he, gone. The second he heard Vettel quit, he was on the phone to, to, <laughs> to Lawrence Stroll. Like, hey, I'm, I'm coming. All I want is money. Um, and I know you're building a new factory because the the Aston Martin team, that's another team. That, it's going to be the it's going to be the Honda team, right? Because they're not going to they're not they're, it's not going to be the Aston Martin Honda team. That's just ridiculous. And that's when well, I mean we're moving a little further, but that's in 26. 26. And that's when I'm pretty sure Fernando will retire so Yuki can come to Honda. No, no. No, Ricardo. No, uh, Alonso signed a two-year deal. He's twenty-five and twenty-six. Well, somebody's. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Yuki's going to be with Honda. Well, yeah, but that's maybe in twenty twenty-seven though. Because remember, Yuki's what? How old? Twenty-five, maybe. Yuki, Sonoda. First of all, should be at Red Bull, but he's not. And we know they're not going to put him in the. They're Red not going to put him in the seat, but they should. Okay. Because if it's a meritocracy, what they're always talking about, and they want the fastest guy, Yuki's beat everybody that they put in front of him. Yeah, but he beat a bunch of bums. So, Ricardo's a bum? Ricardo's not a bum. I just don't think that's that car suits Ricardo. He's not a bum. Our Ricardo's lost it, one or the other. But I don't think he's a bum. But he, he did good in the sprint race in Miami. DeVries, DeVries, was he a bum? Yeah. I think they didn't give him enough chance because he won no, everything. He, he, he had won that everything. He had that lucky race at um at at Monza in the Williams, and but he, he, he won everything before. He won F two. He won F yeah, three. Every series he was in. But that he happens won. to a lot of people. They just can't. They they. It doesn't translate to Formula One. It has to translate. Why is it so hard to translate because, from the junior series to Formula One, Mike? Well, explain. he's no DeFries has been good in everything. He's won championships in Formula E. I think he won Le Mans a couple times. But those cars are different. The Formula One car is so on a knife's edge. They're but they're so easy to drive though. I mean that's that's the thing that freaks me out is when I got to drive like a winged car, how easy they really are to drive because all the downforce and the braking and everything. Because the cars are so light and they're so powerful, it's just to make that transfer to to that and be able to push that car. Mm-hmm. I remember Juan Pablo Montoya talking about when he left the kart series where he won a championship, and then he won the Indy 500 the next year. 
uh, when he went to Formula One, he said it took him six months, even though he was a test driver before, and they used to drive all the time. He said it took him six months of driving those cars to realize how hard you can push the cars. Because it really comes down to braking, and those carbon brakes, that's the that they're very hard to make work right. So, and you need a lot of, uh, a lot of, because supposedly you have to put 300 pounds of pressure on them to make them work. So go down to the gym and push up on one of those things with 300 pounds with your legs and see if you can do it. You probably couldn't. So, so you tell me those little small kids who drive Formula One cars can push 300 pounds of pressure? Well, of course, because they're all the adrenaline they're pushing. I don't know if they could do it in, in, in real life, but the, the adrenaline in a race car is like, it's insane. It's it, it, your senses are so heightened. You can only focus on the next, the next thing. It's just, Here's another question I have for you. Now, would you? Would Nick De, DeBreeze, would the freeze, the freeze? Would he have done better with another team, not Red Bull, to give the chance? Because look how long they gave Logan Sargent. I mean, he's in year two, and he's. I mean, well, because Logan Sarger brought a lot of money. I don't know how much DeFreeze brought, but they. Insta- but he, he supposedly brought the talent, right? So if he was in Williams and you gave him a full year and a half, do you think he would be better right now than Logan Sarger? Well, I think there was a, a couple things. Is they had Ricardo waiting in the wings, okay? And they want they they I. I still think there is a chance Ricardo could end up in the Red Bull next He's year. He's not, because they already I, I already know they're going to sign Checo. Oh, they're going to sign Checo. They haven't Checo. announced it, but they, they've already that's, given That's, that's yeah, the rumor that's on the street, yeah. but that's what they brought him back for, was to replace Checo for either this year or, or, or the 25 season or the 26 season. Because everything is going to change in the 26 season, because we don't know what the cars are going to look like, what, what the engines are going to be like. I mean, we don't know. Well, I've heard... I, I mean, I already know they're going to bring Ricardo back to VCAB next year. They've already said it. Really? Okay. Yeah, so he's already coming back. They've already said that they want Yuki back. Now, Yuki doesn't really want to come back because he's saying, well, if I can't be in the Red Bull, then I'm kind of like a free agent. I mean, I have a contract here, but if somebody else offers me a contract, I might be gone. Okay, the other thing about the Aston Martin team is I know... Lawrence Stroll owns um, the Aston Martin team, but there's rumors that he's going to sell it to Aramco for about a hundred times. When Why? He paid for Why? It. He wants out? Well, if no, because they, if, they if already, he goes out, you know, Lance Stroll's gone. Yeah, but Aramco bought already twenty five percent of the team, right? So, and they they want to be in Formula One. And for the people out there who don't know what Aramco is, can they're you an oil that? company from okay. Saudi Arabia, I believe. Okay. Rank me the top. Free agents, one to five, in your opinion, that you know about. What do you mean? Like, so we got Sainz, right? Yeah. Botas, right? Because mm-hmm. we got Zhao. No. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Botas, I'm just, you mean, I'm just you naming mean? all of them. Not, you can rank them yourself. We have Ocon. Okay. Right? Well, Sergeant won't be in the car. Magnuson won't be in the car. Uh, they've already said R- Ricardo's coming back. Mer- Perez is probably coming back. So then we got waking in the wings. We got Ollie Berman, and then we no, got, Ollie Berman's going to be in the house. Right? And so. then we got Liam Lawson. Waiting Liam in the Lawson's going to be somewhere and next year. And then we have um, what, what's the guy who won GP two last year? He's the Alpine reserve driver, uh, Dugan or Dogan? Dugan. Yeah, we got him. Um, he might be in the Alpine next year because they 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 need someone to be in that car. So, but they. Pr- it's such a dumpster fire. They probably want. To, Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he gets in the they car. They want somebody did. with money. What? The, the Renault team should have money. The Renault is one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world. They're just not putting the money into the team, and they don't have any stability from their the uh, the, the the dumpster fire that team is this year. When they started the year, they're 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 uh, the guy who designed the car quit, and the head of aerodynamics quit before the season started. So yes. there's, before, there's, <laughs> before the season, there's it's like so bad. before we even they're went so to bad. And this, and this isn't their first <laughs> uh, technical uh, team that they cut. There's been like the fourth or fifth one in eight years. And we, we've talked about it before. I'm going to kill these. Will you mosquitoes. stop worrying you about stupid? That, they have that racket 
and yeah. you hit him and it that's what you should have get me, now you know what to get me for my yeah. birthday I, that, actually I'm gonna give you that for your birthday cause we're going my birthday Uncle Mike's birthday party is June 9th at Basil Thai Food on Folsom Street everyone knows where it's at it's amazing. Yeah, if you're listening to the show and you're in San Francisco and you want to come by and you want to come happy across the party, to, uh, Mike, come on by. Give it. Give and Sherman's going to be there too, and yeah. his wife and his kids. Yeah, I'm going to bring everybody. Everybody's going. Everybody's coming. To, and we usually roast Mike. Well, the, I don't roast him. The whole I'll, thing. Everybody roasts Mike and talks <laughs> about Mike. It's really funny as hell. I almost should tape it. Because we last should, time, it was so <laughs> hilarious, dude. I mean, they and were just ripping just, you apart. Everybody just took turns, and I won. I had the best joke it of the night. It was so funny. <laughs> what was your joke of the night? The, my joke of the night was, it like, was the best joke. somebody called me a racist, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I voted for the black guy twice and the woman once. That was the best joke of the night. <laughs> so and the thing that makes that joke funny is you could vote for the black guy twice and the woman and still be a racist so oh, that's why it's a good joke so Lord. well we don't really have much else to talk about. oh no no, no. Oh, we haven't season. we haven't sherman keeps leaving out the wild card in the What's silly that? season yeah. the wild card is vettel dude stop stop bringing you you have a habit of bringing people out of retirement back into seats, back into teams. Stop doing it. It always Vettel's happens. Vettel's not coming back. It always happens in Formula One. All these guys come back. Mansell came back. Prost came back. Uh, Alonso came back. It could happen, and he could end up. Kimi in that- Raikkonen came back. And Kimi Raikkonen came back. Thank you very much. And. He, it could happen. And Esteban Ocon came back. And Esteban Ocon came back. And Hulkenberg came back. Hulkenberg came back. So, also, I'm just, uh, don't leave him out. What's the guy from Mercedes? Uh, he, he oh, Lauda came back, too. No, but from Mercedes, he had gotten a bad accident, remember? Who? Uh, he, he he went and drove. He drove here in Formula One. Then he went. He got in a bad accident with one arm, and then he had to. Oh, oh you're talking about Kubica. Even he came back. Yeah, but he didn't really come back. They, I don't know why they put him in the car. He only had one arm. I mean, yeah, yeah, but he came back. He came back. He did come back. I mean, we're talking but, about comebacks, right? But my thing is, is there's two seats and nothing. Okay, remember, everything we're talking right now is conspiracy bullshit. We don't know who's going to get signed. We don't know. We don't know anybody in Formula One. We don't. We're just. We're just guessing what we see on the TV. There's. That's two, not true. Well, no, I mean, we're not guessing uh, what we see on the TV. It's basically true. Anyways. The two, about? the two seats that I've heard rumors out. about Vettel going to is the Red Bull and the Mercedes. But, he, he is not and there was a rumor going he, he might Mercedes. go to the Audi team because that's a German manufacturer. So and two German know. drivers? Why not? You know, if I was Audi, I actually would do that. And since science is like holding out and making this big... First of all, Science should sign. I don't know what he's doing. What's he waiting for? <laughs> You're out of Ferrari, dude. Get over it. Stop crying and go sign that contract because we know you're not going to go to Williams. So really, all you have left is Audi. You're not going to go to Mercedes for one year. So what are you doing? Why, why are you taking so why, long? Why for? does he have to go to Mercedes for only one year? Because Kimi Antonelli's going to be in the seat. Unless yeah. you're getting rid of. Are you going to get rid of George Russell? Maybe. I. I mean, me personally. <laughs> wait. All right. You want to go down this rabbit hole? Yeah, let's go down this rabbit rabbit hole. Let's do this. Do you want to go down this rabbit hole? Well, we're there now. If it was me, I'd bring in Kimmy Antonelli. I'd sign Carlos Sainz. And George Russell, he'd be going looking for another job. That's what I would do. Yeah, but George is... I think Carlos Sainz is better than George Russell. Yeah, but remember, uh, George Russell's pretty good, so... He's not better than Carlos Sainz. I don't know if he's better. George Russell... Should be at where Carlos Sainz is right now. He and should Ferrari? have no. He should have at least about three wins to his name, or uh-huh. at least two. That's where George George Russell should be on par with Carlos Sainz at this point in his career. Yeah, but, but he's not. But remember, he's making, he, he landed at Mercedes when Mercedes lost their their uh, their mojo. So, and but, maybe they lost their mojo because of him. But we don't know this because when the when the, all the regs come back in in twenty twenty six. Who knows? Maybe the Mercedes will be back on top. He's maybe. doing all the. Have you noticed that, like, all the Mercedes ads now, like on Instagram and on Twitter and you know all the social media, they feature George now. Yeah, because he's the lead driver on, on the and Mercedes just, team. I'm sorry, but okay, George Russell does not translate like 
Lewis Hamilton or oh, you're gonna get killed. He's bleeding from they're his going, leg. They're going, they're so, gonna go. For so it. they're gonna go right to your leg. And well, better than okay. Better they go to your leg than okay. I wanna. Leg. But I no. You owe me a dollar for the uh, no. The, wait, the Schumacher thing. You owe me like no. First of all, that was for last year. No, wait, you didn't say forever. No, I so said that, he that was bets. a Formula Two champion. You oh, said he wasn't. You lose. We were talking Anyways. about last year. First <laughs> no. of all, you owe me like four dollars we anyway. Because you keep losing. We were talking about last year. You owe me. I'm taking that four dollars right there. No, I no, see no. it. Don't I'm take. Don't it. take me. Those are two. Do- those are lucky do- two dollars. Well, you owe me four because you've lost every bet we've. But had I just so want a dollar back, so I owe you three. You didn't. All right. I, all, right. Anyways. all right. You won. You won. Let me make you feel better. You won. Just give my three dollars. Whatever. I, I don't know if I got that kind of money. <sighs> all right. Back back to what we were talking about before before we have to end this. What do we got to do? What, we, you were talking about Vettel. Vettel. They, he, I'm like he he's, he's a four time world champion, fifty two victories, he doesn't want five thousand podiums. He doesn't want to come back. He totally wants to come He's back. Enjoying his life with his kids. He just didn't That's get a, for some reason the 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 Ferrari team got rid of him. Made no it still makes no sense to get rid of that dude. He would have won way more races than Carlos Sainz. I guarantee it. Even though the Ferrari hasn't been that good the last few years, but if good he enough. comes back and lands on it's the Audi enough. team or the Mercedes team or the Red Bull team, because those are the three teams he could he could lick. Because it's not he's Checo's going to be in the seat. Checo's probably going to be in the seat. No. But if he goes to one of those teams and one of those teams, you know, makes the figures out the puzzle, because mm-hmm. I think it's going to be Ferrari, because I think Adrian knew he's going there. So that's yeah, just, that's I, my I prediction. One hundred percent think he's going. But there. Audi is a great racing pedigree. Who knows? They might they might figure it out. Well, the one thing I know about Audi is behind the scenes they've been negotiating. You know, the new engine regs. Yeah, and they've been getting concessions for for the cost cap. Oh well, they 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 can probably spend as much money as they want yeah, and get away with it because they're new, so they keep, they're getting a lot of because they could be they could be spending money now. They're not the Audi team yet. Yeah, exactly. Except, oh, no, Audi bought the whole team recently. The whole the whole they, thing. they 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 own a chunk of the team now. They bought the whole team. Right. So I think they did that on purpose so they could they could play with their engine because you know they're. All these teams right now are spending all their money on the 26 engine. They're not really going to... And Adrian Newey says the engine is a dog crap. That's what he says. He says what, that, well, What's he, the difference? He said that... Uh, I brought this up on one of the shows that you were like at work with. when I, I think I did it with PJ or uh, Paul uh, Schumann. Um, but he, here's the rub on w- what's going on with this new engine regulation. So they had a test with the new engine and the new aero that that's going on. And yeah, the cars look good, by the way. They look they're good. Smaller. They're smaller. They're smaller. They're supposedly they're heavier, they're faster, whatever, 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 whatever. But going down the straight, they kept bogging out and just cutting off. Well, that's because they haven't figured it out yet. But what Adrian Newey says is he doesn't understand why they are using this regs for this car with the new package of. Uh, the hybrid, and the reason he said was it's always on full power. He, because for a commercial car, if you're at a stop sign, you're at a stoplight, you want low power, and then now when you hit the gas, then you want more power. But he says it's always on high. Yeah, that's so a, that means that it's not commercial. You that's could, a, it's, you a could race, bring it to, it's a race engine. That's how they yeah, make but them. You, you, but eventually, all this tech is supposed to come into regular it, cars. It, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, look. it's supposed to. Every time they he, try But to, he's saying that it uses so much power, and it's always on, that it, there's going to be no commercial use for it. So uh-huh. why are we doing it? That's what he said. Well, he's got a point there. But remember, this is the a hybrid engine. They're, they, they refuse to go to the all-electric engine, which Sherman would love. No, if they do, I will no, I will no longer be going. Well, you know they're gonna. Ha- it's gonna happen before too long. No, but no, it won't. They no, go won't. to a turbine engine. That might be kind of neat. But I think they should. They should go. You told me that they have the the fuel already that doesn't produce any carbon emissions. Oh, of course. So then, just go to that fuel. Bring back the V eight. Nah, they're not gonna do that. All right, so we've digressed. We were just wanted to talk about. Uh, Esteban Ocon. Ocon, and my prediction is he's going to be out of Formula One next year. That's my prediction. I think that's a pretty easy. Pre- I, have, I have a feeling if he runs into anyone, any, 
I'm sure they had to sit down with them going, you hit one more person. Because if I was the principal, I'd be like, this would be my talk to all my drivers all the time. You're allowed to hit anyone but your teammate. You hit your teammate, I'm going to fire you, and I'm going to fire you. I mean, it would be just... Yeah, well, was, you can't fire the other guy. It's yeah, not no, his you fault. Fire, you it's, fire not fire, it's not his fault that, no, 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 that, no. that he got ran into by Gasly. Junior Gassler. Johnson said to Jeff Hammonds and, and DW, that's Daryl Waltrip, they were arguing and complaining to each other all the time, and they were not getting along. And he finally brought him into the office, and he's like, look... If y'all don't get along, I'm gonna fire both of you. And then all of a sudden, it's starting to along. get along. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta have a strong principle, and you gotta have a strong. Someone's got to be the boss. That's why. Has to be the boss. That's why I keep talking about the Alpine team about they don't have that. They because the guy that there, no one's ever like, well, he ain't gonna be here much longer. Why do I gotta listen to him? No, it's true. Yeah, because they have a new principle every year. And they they're, they're like, it was like whoever's the boss got to be got to be the boss. The end. You got to be the boss. It costs to be the boss. Well, thank you for joining ah. us. Ah, you get him? No, I don't think so. Uh, thank you for joining us for another episode of America F1. It's America F1, not America F1. You keep doing that. It says America on the on the TV. Come on now. America. Thank I said you. America. That's We're much better. America. America, America F1. baby. America F1. Keep on racing, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? What is that? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. Is that story. a new thing? <laughs> and I need all of you to stop what you're doing. Okay, turn your phone off.